because um, even if you buy a physical collector's edition, you get a digital code. Well, it yeah, you don't need a disc still the for Final Fantasy stuff. You still get right. like the yeah, yeah, all the goodies. So they'll still get, I think they'll still get a physical Xbox collector's edition. It'll be it'll just like be PlayStation where you get you don't get a disc, you just get a digital code to yeah redeem. So I was gonna say yeah, it's not really uh, yeah. So I my guess if we're gonna talk about pre-orders, I feel like it's either going to be at the start of the beta that pre-orders might go live or right after the beta ends uh mm. the pre order which which would be a bit late in my opinion which would be march yeah. right mid-march will probably be when the beta ends because it's probably gonna be a couple of weeks so, so here's the uh, timing so if we go kick it to like late june for launch mm -hmm. then we end up with an april live letter 82 um okay. and which means that the live letter would be timed and announced right around the 16 crossover Give or take, because live okay. letters prior to expansions are are far from a perfect predictor. They're not consistent because they're usually timing them with wins like an ideal time for the game population. Or do they want to time it with some other event? Pax, you know, that, Pax whatever. is usually in March, um, so we, as opposed we get to one there. like part two live letters are, are very very predictable. They're standalone events unless they're going to be at Pax like a day or two before, or a day or two after. They don't really move, uh, and then that would put our final live letter of this expansion the last week of the last week of May. Um. That seems a little late for pre-orders. So I think pre-orders are, if I had to guess, I'd say April. Does that seem too Wow, pre-orders, that seems, that that seems, late. seems late. That seems, that seems I mean, late. Okay. I mean, but that gives you potentially three months. Like April like 7th? Near a pro two, two and a half to three three months, depending on how late. That's just what the spreadsheet spit out. And that yeah. seems late yeah. as I say it out loud. But there have been times where I've corrected the spreadsheet because I felt it was wrong. And then the spreadsheet the spreadsheet was right. Yeah. Than me. So, like, was the numbers. <laughs> I mean, so, well, spreadsheet says like the only it, reason why I say I feel like it should be closer to the the only reason why I feel like I say it should be closer to the Final Fantasy 14 Xbox beta is because otherwise, because you you have to if you are, if you want to play it on a different console, you have to repurchase the game. Your license is not carried over from PlayStation and PC. If you want right. PlayStation, you need that. If you want PC, you need that. So they should really open up the pre-orders for Dawn Trail around the same time as as the beta, because that way then they can release it as a complete edition. So the mm -hmm. Xbox players can then pre-order the Dawn Trail edition and then download everything up to Dawn Tra Trail, rather yeah, than having then, them buy exactly. Endwalker and then buy Dawn Trail have to buy afterwards. Dawn Trail. And then I, on that same uh, note is that typically, let's say they get a collector's edition, like those actually usually come with day one goodies when you pre-order as a part of that, like a little minion or something like that. So it earring, could be like the leveling rearing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The leveling earring and, and more. So it's like, all of a sudden it's like, I all right, beta is over first half of June. Then like, I just can't imagine that they make us pre-order and then wait that long. Unless the pre-order. I mean, the, the, if the pre-order is mean, based the pre on the Xbox release and based on other Square Enix properties. So it kicks into March. Then I think it's no longer a July launch. I think it's first half of June. Based I don't on think anybody said, would be sad game. about that. The other expansions were June other than Endwalker, like you said, and that they said they wanted to get back to the summer and if they they wanted to get back to their old release dates. So yeah. it would track closest, that would be closest cool. early access date that like based on previous ones would be like June June 16th is really nice and safe and that puts pre-order like the very last week of March um and then we get one more final live letter second half of May and everything's and they're just going over just reminding us, you know, what Could that be why wrong? that Savage is delayed? Because remember, Savage is now only is going to be a is, month. Savage is really late. Savage is I but feel like Savage is delayed mainly because of the based on what they said, because yeah. of the player experience, where like not having to meet yeah, better be right. That, right. Is that really the word? Really, really? I will say as a someone who does it, it's so much because nice. if you oh deliver God, it so and nice. it's well, it's always Savage is always two weeks after expansion launch, yeah. but they're saying the yeah, raid. This, yeah. It's mm -hmm. always two weeks, then two weeks. Two weeks to normal, two weeks to Savage. So you get a month mm -hmm. to prep for Savage. But now it's going to be a month to normal, and we have to assume another two week to two weeks to Savage, probably two, um, mm -hmm. for gearing. Because the beginning of the expansion is the hardest gear upswing for players because we've all just hit the reset button. So mm -hmm. you've got four weeks plus two, so you've got six weeks after launch. So that kicks that kicks our next raid out to, like, July end of july yeah and that's it'd be a long really, it'd be really a long to time see if, well our last raid july, dropped in may august so like i mean we're looking at 
a year, over a year. It is most likely over a year from raid progression to raid progression. In theory, should well. Oh, I see what you're like, saying. Because if we, I'm not a savage progression yeah, raider, yeah. so it doesn't impact me. But the empathy part of me knows that if that's what you prepare for and that's what you're excited for, why would you give somebody 12 months of subscription without? Yeah, <laughs> like that's, it's why. That's it's why I know it sounds really stupid and really <laughs> dumb, um, but because there were so many really big boss fights in Final Fantasy 16, like, and a lot of the models from the Final Fantasy 16 stuff is like kind of final fantasy 14-esque i was hoping that maybe they would do a bonus raid tier as part of the collab where they've just ripped all the models from 16. Oh, so if there was ever going to be a 6.6 if there was ever going to be a 0.6 patch this was the expansion yeah like this but the, the, the nail in that rumor forever you i cannot imagine rip them ever models. doing a 0. 0.6 if they didn't do it now couldn't you fresh saga no. final fantasy 16 crossover yeah. so we could have had a standalone raid tier like like it it was primed for or at least had some bonus extreme fight that lingered like like our our lovely dragon boy like this was the expansion to get a bonus patch that you wouldn't do moving forward um so if not now why ever go beyond a 0.55 so just to address chili's point really quick the problem is that literally the polygonal count of like one of those models alone would cause like memory issues like so if you've ever looked Bad. at gruda from 15 or the noctis mm -hmm. from 15 they're all like remodeled and versions in the 14 engine some of them get really close like some of the near stuff looks great but it's not it, you can't just pull it straight out and put it in the game without issues not to mention like you would probably still have to re-rig it uh completely like the the rigging would have to be redone that's anyways. fair um i wish it was that simple because that would be great <laughs> that would be awesome if they could just i what's interesting is they did do that in, to an extent with some like 11 and um even some, like, I think some 13 things where they basically took, like, low... Uh, they so In the 11's case, I think they just retextured them. But, like, that, like, the goblins, some of the, like, uh, Trents, there's, like, a version of those from 11. There's a bunch of 11 enemies that are just straight up in, in 14, in 2.0. And we're gonna get more in Dawn Trail! Yay! <laughs> yeah, yeah! Exciting. Um, But, yeah, no, it, it, it's... <sighs> It's really, it's going to be an interesting time to see whether or not people are going to get salty because of the weight or if this is how this is going to be. 